Hey everybody, PC Wizard here. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, we are on the FTB Minecraft server for Team Raven. And I just wanted to show off this little, nice little spider spawner that I found. This is not cave spiders, this is regular spiders. And I am going to use this to make a soul shard so that I can get a nice supply of spider eyes for potions and string. Um, you know, it's because I've got it, why not? And the other amazing thing, now of course there's chests when you find these dungeons and stuff, which I've cleaned out, I don't really care about the saddles. And there was another chest over here, and it had, yes, a portal gun in it. I can't believe it. Those things are so freaking expensive to make now. But I've got it. Right now I've set the portal up, obviously, so I get right back to my spider spawner until I remove it from there. And I put the gun away for safekeeping, just so I don't mess it up or anything like that. So I just wanted to show you that. And I've been doing a little bit of work. Um, you know, I told you I was going to start working on doing some sorting. Which I've got that down here. Um, also spent some time working on some bees and trees and stuff like that. So, But the, what I want to work on now is getting a quarry. It's very expensive because you have to get the titanium and you have to make the titanium. Um, but that's, I've decided that's my goal right now. I've gotten as far as making the industrial electrolyzer. So in doing this I made four gas turbines and I'm using methane cells to power these. Uh, though that is feeding into an MFE which then just runs the electrolyzer. So I I have the dust that I need. Um, this is actually extra. But you, when you process bauxite dust, one of the byproducts you get is a tiny pile of titanium dust. If you put four of these in a square, you'll get regular titanium dust. In order to make the titanium ingots, uh, we need an industrial blast furnace and so that is my goal now so like I said I've already been able to get to the dust and this is pretty much gonna be all that's holding us back from getting a quarry and getting that running so that is my very next project and you can see I haven't gotten very far with sorting there's still so much that needs to be done but I keep running low on resources especially copper so I really want to get a quarry going and start really getting those natural resources built up. So to make the blast furnace, um, I need four of these cupronickel heating coils, which are simple, four pieces of copper and four nickel or ferrous ingots, and then run those through a rolling machine. Now I've got um, that's the iron, there's the nickel, and I've got some copper in here. Like I said, not very much of it. And okay, that's copper too, so it's eight of those. All right, so where's my rolling machine? Right over here. And these go in the corner. And then we put these in. Like that. All right. So we're gonna get, gonna make those. And another thing I need is four um, electronic circuits. Yep, my brain went dead there. All right. Yes, four electronic circuits for the various stuff that's in here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab these as well. One, two, three, four. All right, and what's next? Two induction furnaces, that's what I need to make, which is going to be two advanced machine blocks. So I need machine blocks, advanced alloy, and carbon plates. So we've got refined iron here, so we can make, I mean, we need two of these, so we're going to make the two machine blocks. And then I have advanced alloy in here. 
and did it go this way I think but anyway we've got carbon over here let's see where is it did I not put it in there yet oh no I didn't put it in there sorry the carbon dust I made over here uh, or coal dust all right so if you macerate a piece of coal you get coal dust and for those we'll make raw carbon fiber take the raw carbon fiber put two next to each other you get raw carbon mesh now this mesh gets put in a compressor and that is going to make the carbon plates that we need all right where are we we're doing the induction furnaces and this is going to give us the advanced machine blocks and these should be done in just a moment and we're going to use the magic of editing and have these done right quick. And just like that, our carbon plates are finished. All right, let's go put this together. And it should be just like that. And we need two of these. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, I know I need three of them. So let's go ahead and make one more real quick put that in the center alloys and carbon and there we go now I got three of them toss those away all right what is next we've got we have the advanced machine block we need electric furnaces and that's going to be an electronic circuit, an iron furnace, and redstone. So we need two of these. Right? One, two. And these are iron furnaces. Just like that. And what did we say we need to do to make an induction furnace, an electronic furnace? We need the electronic circuit and the redstone. So we've got electronic circuit and redstone. Gives us two electric furnaces. To make them an induction furnace, we need copper all the way around the advanced machine block. And we are getting really low on copper. I'm going to admit I did not add up all the copper for this so we may have some issues. Alright so the two induction furnaces, the uh, advanced machine block there and the four rings. So we're going to have those, that, and our rings should be done in the rolling machine here. Oh, we got three of them done. All right. We're going to have three and we should be able to use electronic circuits for this I believe that's what I saw in the recipe there we go and drop that in there all right there's the industrial blast furnace but now in order to do this I know we need other parts the industrial blast furnace is kind of a different sort of machine than what I'm used to normally building and what we need to have with it is a bunch of machine casings that are going to get like piled up behind it now because of the requirements of making the titanium or the not titanium the um, yes titanium is what we're making um, the titanium we need to use these reinforced machine casings and these are kind of be kind of tough to make because you only get four out of each recipe and I need 36 of these blocks so I need to make this recipe nine times um, so I've got some things underway already um, we can start with we know that we need nine machine casings so let's grab a whole bunch of the um, reinforced iron and okay there's the nine casings then we've got uh, what do we need 
we need carbon and advanced alloy. Now I'm going to have to cook up a whole bunch of this stuff. Because unfortunately an entire stack of coal only gives you like eight carbon plates. So it doesn't last very long. All right, but there's one advanced machine block. I can go ahead and make one set of these. Uh, I should, should be able to anyway. Steel, and I can use these pulsating chipsets, which I already have a whole bunch of those. And I've got some steel here. So there we go. That's four of the blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and make eight more of these recipes, and I will be right back. All right, there we go. 36 reinforced machine casings. All right, let's grab some um, glass fiber cable and head downstairs and set the sucker up. Now, I believe we only need to input power on one side of it, which is certainly what I'm hoping. Um, all right, so this is going to be a 3 by 4 build. I'm going to have a few different things going down here. So let's go ahead and just set it up. It's a yeah, 3 by 3 by 4 high. Yep, that should do it. Um, hmm. I wonder if this said something about needing lava in the middle. Alright, let's go ahead and build that part. And let me double check this. Yes, we do need two pieces of, uh, two buckets of lava right in the center there. So we're going to go ahead and take these top blocks out. So we'll have a place to pour the lava in. And I've got some buckets on me. And lava right here. Nice and convenient. There we go. Two buckets of lava. And let's just drop. Not inside. Let's try dropping right there. There we go. There's one. And two. All right. Seal that off. Place the blast furnace. Heat capacity is 2200. It's actually a little more than I calculated, but I definitely won't complain. All right, now I believe we can just run, connect power to it. Anywhere or no? Maybe it's got to come. Oh, it's got to come directly in there. Okay. All right. I'll play, play around with these cables and optimize this a little bit. Um, all right. Now, if if everything is right, which I'm totally confident it is, of course. Yeah. Um, if everything is right, I can cook up these two pieces of, the, actually these four pieces of titanium, which I only need two. Oh, and look at that. It's cooking. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. And I already knew ahead of time that that took 128 uh, EU per tick, so it wasn't going to be a power issue. Um. Which would have been really bad if this thing blew up on me, seeing how, what it costs to make everything. But regardless, we're going to go ahead and cook this titanium up. And then we're going to proceed on to putting the final steps to get the quarry put together. We'll be right back. And there we go. Four titanium, which we only need two for this recipe. But we'll go ahead and store the other two. And we should be ready to complete everything. I'm going to put those in there. All right, so the first thing I need to do is make a diamond drill. In order to do that, one of the first things I need is an advanced circuit. 
I know I actually need two of these for the recipe for to get the quarry, so I'm gonna go ahead and make two advanced circuits here. Uh, let's see. Two, two. There we go. All right. There's two. We're doing right now uh, basic circuits to start with with the refined iron and. Clicking is not very accurate right now. Okay, there we go. Two electronic circuits. Add glowstone, lapis, and redstone. Alright, let's do it here. Just two. That's all I need. There we go. Alright, advanced circuits. So we're going to have, for the diamond drill, we're going to have an advanced circuit. We're going to have two titanium, we're going to have the drill, and three diamonds. There's my diamond drill. Alright, now we need to make a whole bunch of gears. And we're going to need um, seven gears total. So that's uh, 14 blocks is what we're going to need. There's 14. All right. I'm going to start with first thing we're going to need is seven uh, iron blocks or seven iron gears. All right, like that, and then we're going to turn those into iron. We need a little bit more iron. We're going to need iron, we're going to need gold, and then some diamonds. Alright, seven iron gears. Three of those are going to remain iron. And then we're going to do gold. Two of those remain gold. And then we need diamonds for the last two. So, yes, as you can see, a quarry is a very expensive investment, but it is going to be wonderful to have it working. We need the advanced circuit in the top and our diamond drill right there, and there is the quarry. All right. Um, to operate this, we're going to be feeding it power and I think what I'm going to do is use the empty tesseracts that I made. I can remember where I put them. They're going to be here very close somewhere. I just saw them recently. Okay, why am I not seeing them anywhere? I just saw them. Really, I did. Alright, I'm sure you guys have already seen them and you're laughing at me because I can't locate them anywhere. Oh, there they are. Okay, so no, you hadn't seen them because you didn't know they were over there. Alright, so what I need to do is make energy tesseracts. So I need lead, silver, electrum, in a redstone con conductance coil. Alright, that's electrum, so we need one electrum for that. Whoops. Let's go back here. Let's see. Um, uses for that. Energy tesseract. Uh, okay, silver, lead. One electrum for that, plus one for the coil. So that's two electrum each, so we need four, and there we go, there's four of those, we're going to need four silver, uh, two gold, 
right? And, um, four silver, four lead. That's what it was. Four lead. All right. Put the gold away, and there's some lead. and just redstone for that coil okay so we get two of those oh, there's more electrum there okay two coils and then two lead and electrum at the top silver there and those there give me energy test racks all right we're gonna put one Feed one right off of here, and it should automatically go the right way, right? And yes, power is going into that. Uh, and what did I call this one? Frequency 67. Well, might as well just go from there. We'll to frequency 68 and we're going to set this as send only private ownership yes that's exactly what we want because we're going to send to this energy coil alright so we got the quarry we have got that now I need to go out to where my mining turtles were excavating and retrieve them along with the um, chunk loader that's there and decide on a good place to put this um, quarry. So I will return shortly. Okay, I got my quarry placed. I got out. I came out here. I picked up all the extra stuff that I had from before the turtles I had excavating the chest which was a uh, what I have a, a gold chest feeding an ender chest and everything and then um, brought that up here got the quarry set up decided to mine down into a glacier just to see what I might find uh, haven't done much with glaciers so far but starting this I had um, got a ton of snowballs it's amazing how many snowballs cover you know make up the topping of an area like this so and uh you know four snowballs per you know block they definitely add up really quick um, it's not picking up the ice the blocks of ice but it is destroying them um, which is good it's not leaving a bunch of water flowing all over the place now I do, I did have to make some modifications to my sorting system. I guess the, um, you know, sometimes need forces you know, to do have to do things. Um, but this is working fairly well. Um, it does seem to be slowing down quite a bit, so I think I actually might need to start producing more power. Uh, yeah, I would say from the looks of it, it's. Uh, eating up all the juice I had stored up so it's probably yeah it's definitely taking a lot more than, than what I already have being produced so I'm going to have to look at possibly kicking that up a notch And um, right now I'm running three magmatic engines which is generating the power I'm using for this so I'm going to have to look at uh, first of all I'll throttle it down um, which is easy to do. I'm running everything through a uh, one of the red power uh, conduit. Uh, what is it? The energy storage cube. Um, so using that, I can throttle down how much energy it's allowing to flow through, which is going to slow the quarry down, but I can do it in a way it's going to maintain you know, uh, an energy level inside my base that I can access. So let's see. Uh, we'll 
be right down there in just a quick moment. Yeah, it's going to be down this way, right down here. All right, so if we look at this, huh, no, this is completely full. That's actually very interesting then. Because this will output up to 50, but these only generate 4, which is 12, and I thought a quarry could use more than that. I don't know why it's operating as jumpy as it is. Kind of odd. Uh, I'll have to look into the test rack. Maybe there's a, a limit on how much it outputs. Tune the end of frequency, determine links. Yeah, it doesn't say on here. I'll have to look it up and see what's going on with that. But here is the storage I'm using over on this side. Got everything being pulled directly out of the ender chest using a transponder. And right now I've got this running running at a 0.2 count, uh, 0.2 interval. So every uh, uh, what, what's that? Every four ticks, this cycles. And I've had to put it at that pace just to keep up. Uh, I tried. Very, very odd thing. Let's try it again right now and see if it does it. If I increase this to 0.25, it stops. It stops running. Same at 0.3. It doesn't run. If I turn it to 0.35, it does work. So it's very odd. Uh, but it doesn't, it's not. It's not quite enough to keep up, I don't think. Um, well, it, it seems to be doing all right, but it, when it hits gaps and stuff like that, uh, it does seem to be a little slow keeping up. But I'll let it run like this for a while and see if it does manage to keep up. Um, I don't like timers running faster than they have to just because of server lag. So I'm going to let this run, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, just got everything filtering down through these lines. I've got a couple uh, extra dimensional chests up here to store extra large quantities. And we're just going to let this run and we will see what happens. And I am PC Wizard. Thanks for watching.